Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm reviewing the Parachute Down Feather Bed. It's a very fluffy feather bed, and I've been a big fan of Parachute's products for a while, so I was really excited to try it out. But is it a good fit for you? Let's find out. All right, before we get started, if you want to see a list of my top picks for mattress toppers, just Google Mattress Clarity plus Best Mattress Topper. If you have any specific questions you want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. But today we have the Parachute Down Feather Bed, and let's talk about the construction of it moving from the outside and then going in. So on the outside, it's gonna be 100% cotton with a sateen weave. So a sateen weave is gonna be smooth and silky to the touch. In terms of the actual construction, it is a baffle box construction. So with a lot of down comforters and with these feather beds, it could be sewn through or baffle box. Now baffle box is gonna be more 3D, it's gonna have a cube. It allows the inside to fully expand, the fill to fully expand. So speaking of that as well, in terms of expansion, it is three inches tall. It's a very, very tall down feather bed. In terms of what's inside, you actually have two chambers, a top chamber and a bottom chamber. On the top chamber, you're gonna have white goose down. On the bottom, it's gonna be down and also feathers as well. Now, this material is going to be responsibly sourced. It's actually been certified to be responsibly and sustainably sourced down. On the bottom there as well with the feathers, the same thing. Also, they don't use harmful chemicals to treat it, so it is a green option too. If you are gonna wash this, you can spot clean it at home, but I would take it to a laundromat to actually do full cleaning, dry cleaning. And then also in terms of choices, you have full queen king and California king. And in terms of price, on the pricier side, because it is actual down, $359 for a queen size. All right, so that's the construction of the parachute, but what was my experience? How did it actually work for me? Well, opening it up, taking it out of the bag, it was fluffy right away. I put it on my mattress, it was good to go. If you're looking for a mattress topper, a big concern is gonna make this mattress softer and how much softer. So I tested the parachute on top of a firmer mattress, which was close to an eight out of 10. And lying down on this with this on top, I'd say it only took off about half a point. So it was an eight, felt like a seven and a half after I put this on top of here. So I will say I'm a larger person. If you're a lighter person, you put a lay on top of here, it actually might feel a little bit softer than it did for me. But in terms of sleeping positions, how did it actually make it feel better or worse for each position? So on my back, it felt even better. So I'm lying down, kind of conforms to the curves of my body just a little bit, it has a nice just fluffy feel, so I feel very nice on my back. On my side, didn't really add a lot of pressure relief. It still felt nice and fluffy, but I didn't feel too much more pressure relief in my shoulders and my hips. On my stomach, no real effect. Again, just did feel somewhat fluffy as well. The main thing you're getting with this mattress topper is it's a new feel. It is that fluffy feel. So if you want that kind of fluffy experience on top of your mattress, definitely a good option. A big concern also with mattress toppers is warmth. It's gonna make you sleep warmer. But when you're looking at a mattress topper, most of the time it is gonna add a little bit of warmth to your mattress. But if you don't want so much warmth, definitely look at a feather bed. Now this one in particular had some nice breathability. It didn't make me overheat even more. Let's talk about the pros of who I think this down feather bed should be a good fit for. I think first, it's a really nice option for back sleepers who want a little bit more fluff. So I like to sleep in my back somewhat. So lying on my back, adds some fluffiness, conforms more to the curves of my body. Just a really nice experience. I think also hot sleepers who want a mattress topper should take a look at this because a big issue with mattress toppers, specifically a memory phone, is they can actually trap more heat, make you sleep more hot. With this here, a lot of breathability, I was not overheating whatsoever. And then finally, I think if you like kind of like a pillow top feel on top of your mattress, this is a great option. So let's see if a mattress with no pillow top, you wanna have that fluffy feel right on top, definitely a good pick for you. Now let's talk about the cons of who I think this may not be the best fit for. First, I think if you struggle with allergies, this may not be the best choice for you. And the main issue with down, and I have this issue myself, it can trap allergens like dust mites and also pollen. So if you have major allergies, I would look elsewhere. Also, if you're not a big fan of like a fluffy feel, this may not be the best fit for you. It is very, very fluffy, kind of pillow top feel. If you don't like that feel, again, I would look elsewhere too. Also, if you're looking for more pressure relief in your mattress topper, this is probably not a good way to go because with a lot of memory foam mattress toppers is gonna add some serious pressure relief. It's a dense material. However, with something like this, with this more pillow top feel, you press right through the down, you're interacting with the mattress more. It's just something to note. And I think finally, if you're looking for something more of a value price, this may not be the best choice for you too. It is $359 for a queen size. There are mattress toppers in the memory foam variety that are $85, a better value. Now, while this is a 
great deal for what you're getting, it may be out of your price range. In the end, I was a big fan of the parachute down feather bed. I think if you are a back sleeper, you like more of a fluffy feel, you're a hot sleeper, you don't want to overheat while you sleep, definitely a good option for you. However, if you're a side sleeper, you want some more pressure relief, if you don't like a fluffy feel, I would look elsewhere. So you should know if it's the right fit for you, but if you're still a little bit confused, leave a comment below, I can even give you a personal recommendation. Also, we do a lot of videos like this at Matters Clarity. If you like what you've seen, definitely hit the subscribe button.